पानी जोरे आगे भाई थाड़ी प्रभु ही बिलो की प्रीति और बात हाउ शबरी शी सॉ लॉर्ड फेस टू फेस कमिंग ऑन हर डॉस्ट एंड शी स्टैंडिंग बोथ हैंड्स लाइक दिस एंड शी इज आस्किंग के ही विधि है स्तुति करो तुम्हारे ओ लॉर्ड हाउ कैन आई ऑफर प्रेयर एंड लास्ट टाइम आई वाज सेइंग यू नो सो मेनी श्लोक एंड मंत्रस बट इफ लव इज नॉट हियर व्हाट इज द यूज इज ऑल मैकेनिकल यूजलेस but she had that deep love bhakti she didn't even know how to pray to the lord but she know my lord is going to come because from the words of her bona fide guru matang rishi said ram will come your way he will come to you so every day she is putting flower on the pathway you know this so beautiful cut and checking every day which fruit sweet which tree which branch like that and today ram will come today ram will come today ram but bhagwan man in his manifested form is there but he is coming that particular day but he's always there in the heart he knows she's preparing preparing and that day he will come and on the word of a bona fide guru always remember that i give you that last night dhruv maharaj prahlad you check all the history Unless one had a bona fide guru, they never get success. Adhama jati mai jarmati bhari. I am so dull, my jarmati. My intellect. I am not bright. I am not so brilliant. What is that telling us? Brilliance can take you to God alone. If you are brilliant and you apply that brilliance, is good. But you are brilliant and you start to cheat people. we have so many scheming companies and so on insurance etc etc adhamate adham adhamati nari she is putting herself as the lowest most insignificant person this is bhakti it doesn't mean she is really insignificant ram is saying she is the best but she is thinking bhakta will think like that oh everyone is better than me i don't walk i am the best here don't you know So, without knowledge, no jnani. There was a beautiful example like that. I remember today going through quickly when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was touring South India. There's one Ranganath temple. There was an old Brahmin who is turning the pages of Bhagavad Gita, and all the young scholars they used to mock him. <coughs> oh, Brahmin, how are you reading Bhagavad Gita? Because they know he's illiterate. He really cannot read. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw that, he asked him to, Brahman, how are you reading? But you can know when somebody is asking you mockingly, and one is genuinely inquiring, you would know the difference. So this Brahman understood that this young sannyasi, very beautiful, handsome, he is asking me. So he began to speak. The others he would not speak. He said. Why are you asking me? I'm reading. So Mahaprabhu said, "I see you reading, and tears is coming from your eyes." He said, "Actually, I cannot read, but my guru ordered me that I should read Bhagavad Gita every day. So I am trying to read. Look at the pages." But he told Mahaprabhu, "You know why tears is coming?" He said, "Every page he turns, he's thinking." How Bhagwan Krishna is so merciful that his friend Arjun he accepted the position of actually lower than his friend to be the charioteer, to be driving the chariot. It's like you hire a cab, go here, go there. It's like you are the boss. You pay a few dollars and you go your way. So Arjun he put Arjun and look at Bhagwan he put him on top. This is Bhagwan. He said, "Not only Arjun feed his massaging so that he could do well in this battle, but sometimes Krishna is going down and he's massaging the legs of the horses to make sure that they will go where he wants them to go. How merciful! And when I think how Bhagwan is so merciful, tears come. Mahaprabhu declared, 'This is the right way to read Bhagavad Gita with bhav, that love to see.'" 
Otherwise, you read Bhagavad Gita like a scholar and you end up, what you end up? I am God. There's no need to follow. What nonsense you really? This sounds very strange, but I have heard people from Trinidad, at least I know. Many have become professor and so on. They go and they become, they study Vedanta. Vedantis, they come back. You are God. I am God. Hmm? Actually, one minute you can become God. Oh, we are actually, we are all God. What is this? If we are God, then what are we doing here? Begging for help? Begging which God then? We just beg each other. This is why also, you know, in India, very popular Namaste. Most of what we call Mayavadi philosophers, you see. We say, Hari Ho! Hmm? <laughs> Hare Krishna! Hey, Sita Ram! Jai Shri Krishna! We call the name of Bhagawan. Some say Hari Om. This is again Mayavadi. Because Om Om Kar, that transcendental sound vibration, the thing is the ultimate. Oh. Hmm? Namaste. On to you, I bow. Because they think you are God, I am God, and you bow to me, I bow to you. No, no, we don't need any other God. Understand? Namaste. Namaha. Okay. Namaste. This is why Vaishnav don't use this greeting. Namaste. And the whole Western world also following Namaste. They picked up that. Anyway, that's a long story. Some other time we'll do this thing. So when she's saying, I'm very dull intellect, I'm the lowest of the low, Bhagavan stopped her. Only bhakti, love in your heart, bhav, that is all I know. I don't care, jati, pati, kul, dharam, badai, dhan, bal, parijana, gun, chatur, all your wisdom and all your wealth, and I don't care for all these things. We may impress others with these things, but not God. And if you impress others, are they going to help you when death comes? Knocking on your door, Jamdu comes. Huh? Even though you become the president, you think you say, No, I have a big project. Give me a two years, make a spin and come back. I'm the president of the United States of America. Jamdu will say, Okay. No, you going here. You're the president here, yeah, but we coming from a different president, send us for you. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Jamraj. Then bhagati hi nara sohat kaise dino jala bari dha dekhi jaisa. That cloud comes and you're hoping for rain for the crops so we could get food and everything. And the cloud looks so nice, it's going to get rain, just blow it. What is the use? So when somebody posing, oh, I'm a big scholar and I'm this and that, no bhakti is useless. Oh, Ram, the Lord is speaking, telling us. That bhakti is the main thing. Hmm? Then he prepared to give naudha bhakti. Naudha bhakti kahau tohi pahi sadhan sano dharu man maan. Man laga kar. Now concentrate in your mind very firm and hear attentively. Last night it was too late for us to hear attentively. Some were getting hungry. Hmm? So tonight I'm taking the opportunity. Now it's 7.28 I'm seeing. And the Lord began. <coughs> Prathama bhakti santan kar sangha. The first anga of bhakti is to take association of the sant. Hmm? And we are taking association. Goswami sant to siddhas. He is a sant, a saint, a sadhu. And we are reading this which had come through him. As samadhi bhasha. In trance he got all of this information. And one way of taking association is by reading the book. He says Siksha Guru in one sense. But you will have to find that Guru in this presently manifested on this planet. You have to find one of those Guru who will open your eyes. Because we cannot read. I know a lot of people read so many books. I could tell you right away if I didn't have Guru. And then I have all this background on Tattva Jnana, Siddhanta. But our mind is not so simple as we think it is. You will make so many mistakes. You might recall the storyline that somebody else say and you will read something else. But the deep, the real essence you may not touch. Hmm? Sant, 
सेम साधु वैष्णव भक्त भागवत और महाभागवत ऑल इज अ डिफरेंट नेम्स फॉर ए डिवोटी इन इंग्लिश दैट्स वन वर्ड यू नो डिवोटी एंड आई वांट यू टू लर्न वन सिंपल वर्स आई थिंक वन टाइम आई हर्ड इट और टू टाइम्स एंड आई विल रिकॉल इट इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल एंड ब्यूटीफुल वर्स इन बंगाली लैंग्वेज टू अंडरस्टैंड रिमेंबर साधु संग साधु संग से साधु संग साधु सर्व शास्त्रे कोई सर्व शास्त्रे कोई लव मात्रा लव मात्रा साधु संगे साधु संगे सर्व सिद्धि हो सर्व सिद्धि हो डिफिकल्ट तो साउंड्स इजी यू हैव टू शूट टाइम यू शुड रिमेंबर सो सर्व शास्त्रे कोई Koi is koi, hoi, choi. This is the verb, not like ho gaya and, and ho ga, ho ta in, in English, in Hindi. So koi means they are crying out loudly. Take sadhu sang, take association of sadhu. All the scripture. This is why sadhu sang, sadhu sang, sarv shastra koi. All the shastra telling you take sadhu sang. Hmm? Can we do the full line now? First line. साधु संग साधु संग सर्व शास्त्र कोई से लव मात्र साधु संगे सर्व सिद्धि हो लव मीन्स वन इलेवेंथ ऑफ अ सेकेंड इवन इफ यू गेट इन द एसोसिएशन ऑफ ए प्योर भक्त यू गेट दैट एसोसिएशन साधु संगे तो सर्व सिद्धि ऑल परफेक्शन विल Manifest all perfection comes. So love matra sadhu sange sarva siddhi hoy. Love matra sadhu sange sarva siddhi hoy. Say love matra sadhu sange sarva siddhi. One time I'm going to repeat the whole thing and you try. <laughs> I have one lollipop, but I think that remains in the well. I'll try it again. But I have some. I have some candy. साधु संग साधु संग सर्व शास्त्र कोय लव मात्र साधु संगे सर्व सिद्धि होय ट्राय सी सी हाउ यू स्पीकिंग बंगाली वी डोंट इवन गो इन द स्कूल दिस इज परफेक्शन ऑलरेडी सो दिस इज प्रथम भक्ति संतन कर ही संग ऑलवेज टेक द एसोसिएशन ऑफ सेंस ओ साधु से नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन दैट वर्स एक्चुअली गिव यू वन रीजन बट सपोज वी डिड नो दैट वर्स व्हाई व्हाई वी शुड टेक साधु से नाउ यू नो आई गिव यू एक्स्ट्रा वर्स सर्व सिद्धि हो बट इन द भागवत Before Ram Chandra came in Treta Yog, the same one God in the form of Bhagwan Kapil. He came. He was the Swayam who, the grandson of Swayam who man. How many manus you have in one day of Brahma? Fourteen manus. And what is the duration of one day of Brahma? In our time. Is twelve hour daylight, like how you have daylight at night. His daytime is four billion three hundred and twenty million years our time. So fourteen manus. If you divide fourteen into four billion three hundred twenty million years, you get three hundred and five million and such and such thousand years. Each manu will live so long. In this day of Brahma, we now in the seventh manu. Called Vivasvat Manu, the son of Vivasvan, the sun god, and we are in the twenty-eighth round. This Kalju will complete twenty-eight. Chaturyu or Mahayu, Chaturyu, Satyu, Treta, Dwapar, Kalju, one cycle for seventy-one cycles. Each of the Manu would live, and we are now only on the twenty-eight and the seven. So, if you trace back, how long? भगवान कपिल केम स्वयं भूख मनु यू नो मनु एंड शत्रुपा यू हेयर दिस नेम सो स्वयं भूख मनु इज द फर्स्ट मनु सन ऑफ ब्रह्मा एंड शत्रुपा हैड फाइव चिल्ड्रन 
Priyabrat, Uttanapar, two sons and three daughters, Akuti, Prasuti, Devahuti. Devahuti was married to Kardamuni, who was a great mystic yogi. Before Bhagavan Kapil was born, he created in the sky a city with beautiful lakes and hundreds of maid servants to take care of Devahuti. And then Kapil, Bhagavan Kapil was born from both of them. How powerful he was. So Bhagavan Kapil was the guru and teaching his mother. Normally it's a reverse. Mother is guru, father is guru. Huh? But here, because Bhagavan himself has come, he is teaching. Mother is asking questions and he is teaching. And in his teaching, this is what he is saying about sadhu. How important it is. I'm, yesterday I told you we will cross-reference a little bit in Bhagavad. Third Canto, chapter 25, verse number 20. Prasangam majaram pasham Atmanaha kavayo vidu Saiva sadhu shukrito Moksha dvaram apavritam Prasangam Sadhu sang means association of the sadhu But sang alone when that word is used It means this Chor uh, jhamela you know that song? This is the Jamela, this big Maya, network made by Maya, entangled here. This is Sangha, attachment to material things. And Prasangha, I gave you this Pra already. I always give this. To understand Pra, in Guyana you do it nicely. Those from Guyana, you say, Manda, little boy here, proper knock that drum. You say like that, right? If you go proper, it means sufficiently, properly. And that one they put it high up here, proper show, two, three slope. Huh? Like that. So this is prasangam, acharam, very strong. And pasham, pash. You know, Sri Hanumanji was tied up in Nake Pass, huh? a network of snakes by Meghna. So pasham means that you're tied up. Maya have us tied up. Atmanaha, this soul, now we are trapped in these bodies and all these planets are big jail. This is your personal cell and the cell is within the ground. But this cell could move. It's not your, the regular cell. And even this body, the soul trapped in this body sometimes put in a different cell. And at this some compound in different jail here too. Hmm? There's more jail. So Kavayo, Kavi, means that like Kabir Das, you know this word. Kavi means poet, intelligent one, very great intellectual. We do, they know that the soul is trapped by this Sangha attachment here. But they're saying, Saiva Sadhu Shukrito. If you apply that, is you have to shift the mentality. Once you change your mentality, you become a changed person. You know that. You know how most people grow up and they cussing the neighbor and this and that and they only hear from some some sadhu, somebody saintly person and the whole life change, whole mentality change. You know what, this is not good. Why I don't use my tongue to chant Hare Bol! Huh? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. spend that time to use this energy and this tongue that you have for this you will see the difference huh? so Saiva Sadhu Shukrito if you apply that same that kind of attachment you become attached to the lotus feet of a Sadhu huh? then what will happen Moksha Dwaram Apavrita Avrita means close Apavrita Apa means wide open the door for liberation is wide open for those who take to become attached to the sun. See how scientific this is? Now the next question, the next verse that follows, he's teaching his mother. Who is a sadhu? 
You say that go and take sadhu somebody, I don't know who is sadhu. Isn't that an important thing to know? <coughs> now, one time, it's a big jagya, and I was invited. I wanted to leave and go, but people say it doesn't look good when you get up and go. I know people think that if anybody can speak and is okay, just sit down and hear. This is a dangerous thing. You know, going to that some other time. It's better you hear from the right source. Or don't hear at all. Try to read or sit down home and chant. Because you get more corrupted. You know what this person was portraying as Adhu to be? You know when you used to have Bhagavat a long time, like beggars may come and you give them a little thing, dirty clothes and and sometimes they might have a little kanjiri and they might sing, they may know two lines and you give them some little charity and food. He's portraying the sadhus to be that. Does that make sense to you? So when Bhagavan said, Paritranaya sadhuna, to protect the sadhus, is to protect these beggars who are dirty looking? No. Real sadhu, who is really taking care, who have compassion for all, to save the whole world, this is real sadhu. Not who can't save themselves. No. This is terrible. Very offensive. Too. So we must know who is sadhu. First word, titikshava, one who is always tolerant. You may curse a sadhu, beat, you know that history. There is a little story, one sadhu is trying to save the scorpion from the current in the river, the scorpion will sting him. There are actually two sadhus here. Takes it up, try to move it, the scorpion will sting him a second time. Third time, the next sadhu say, you know, because that sadhu is so, not so elevated. He said, hey now, this thing biting you will die with this, why you don't give up, let him drown. The sadhu saving said, no. Because of his karma and so on, he's in that body, and that is his nature to sting in defense. Why I should give up my nature? If he is continue, I must continue. <coughs> because this law of karma is something that people don't understand. I was talking to somebody in Miami who have some connection in Tampa. There's some big false propaganda, people think they are very spiritual. <coughs> and he was quoting from me, if a baby or some little child is drowning there in that pool or in the ocean and you are there, leave them, that is a karma. I say, Bhai, isn't it your karma to be present there so that you will have compassion and save that child? You see somebody going to die and you say, man, let them die? What is this? And this is supposed to be spiritual? Oh, this is some kind of devil something. <coughs> Bhakti Maan is to save everyone. Is to have, last time we said that, Atma what? Sarva Bhuteshu. Have feelings, how you want to live, and you want to know the truth and everything. Allow others, that. let them live. Hmm? Next day we talk about cutting the chicken neck and so on. This <coughs> To take shava, I have karunika and very compassionate, tolerant and compassionate. Suhrida, you know what is suhrid? In English, you only have one word called friend. Well, you might have best friend, next best friend. I don't know how you put it. And your best friend is turn out your worst enemy sometimes. I don't know if you have that experience. I know. I know these things. <coughs> there is no real friend. But in Hindi, Mere dosti, mera pya. Dosti is one word for friend. Mere mitwa, Mere geet re. Aja tujhiko, mitwa. This is a friend. Mitra. These are all friends. Mere mitra o mere gir, mere yar. Yar is also friend. But when you reach to the word suhridam, suhrid, 
one who really have you, your interests at heart. They really want to see that you prosper, you do well. So, Hridi means your heart. This is your best friend. Bhagavan said, Bhoktaram Yajyata Pasaham Sarva Loka Maheshwaram Suhridam Sarva Bhutanam I am the best friend of all. Gyatva Maam Shantim Richati These three things, this is the peace formula for this world. If you only know that. Bhagavan is your true friend. Hmm? And if one is really godly, has the qualities of God, the sadhus, suhridam, not only human, if you're in human form, even the scorpion, the snake, all different species, he's thinking, oh, how can he get up? This dog is suffering. Look at this snake. You see him like that. I know most time as you see snake, kill him. <laughs> But this has to be a real great sadhana because there is also one injunction in Bhagavad by Prahalad Maharaj that even the sadhus they are happy when snakes and scorpions are killed because you give them a chance to change that body. The most abominable. These two creatures, snakes and scorpion. So you in your experience, you know people used to kill snakes as soon as they see them. But you don't go hunt them down and kill them. If they come in your part, if they come to attack you, this is a different thing. Huh? What are you talking about snake? Sometimes you go in somebody's garden, if you go in, you pick two oranges or something, you get a shotgun, they can kill you. Huh? Two oranges or something. Huh? You cannot enter somebody's yard like how back home we used to go and pick flowers or, or pick two mangoes or something like that. No? Hmm? Ajata Shatrava Shanta. He has no enemy. Ajata Shatrava. And always peaceful. Sadhava sadhu bhushana. And always in line with the scripture, not speculating, not making up his own stories. Hmm? Speak what is in the scripture. I have to go a little bit faster because today's katha I haven't started. This is only, this is like a pre katha finishing up from last night. Okay, we'll do three more verses. I only did two. Hmm? I'll go faster. That is 3rd Canto, chapter 25, verse number 20. Chap uh, same Canto and chapter, verse 21. I'm going to jump to 23. Very important to know. Madashaya katha mrishta shinvanti kathayanti cha tapanti vividha sakapa naitan madhyat chita saha all these miseries where everybody is suffering and worrying, the sad who's nothing, don't bother them material things. Huh? So simple. If you become sad, everybody is worried. Everybody is in anxiety. Sad who is already in Baikunt. By nature, he's already enjoying. Bhagavan has protected, he's protecting him totally. Yogmaya is protecting him under her shelter. Then we come to very important verse. Sadhu Sangha. Satam now you have an idea why we should go towards sadhu. And who is a sadhu? Now, <coughs> why you should take sadhu sangha? Now we get to know more. Satam Prasanga. This is the same as sadhu sangha. O Prathama Bhakti Santan Karhi Sangha. Satam means those on the path of truth. Sanatan Dharma. Satam Prasanga in the association of those who living to only follow the truth, truth path. Satam Prasanga Mamabirya Sambhidu. And you hear my heroic pastimes from them. What will happen? Bhavanti Hirtakarna Rasaya Nakatha. The heart is so pleased and the ears is pleased to hear all these things. And when you hear just by Shravanam, when you hear then after you can do Kirtanam. What happens? Tat joshana rasha apavarga vartamani. Very soon you will be on the path of apavarga, liberation. Like moksha dwarama path. And here what will come? Shraddha. Faith in the scripture. Faith in the sadhu. Faith in Mahaprasadam. 
महाप्रसादे गोविंदे नाम ब्रह्मणि वैष्णवे स्वर्प पुण्य वाम राज Vishwaso nai vajayati. Those who have little supriti doesn't have that feel. Hmm? But you could develop that by hearing. Tajoshna rashpa varga vartmani shradha ratir and bhaktir anukramishyati. From faith shradha to bhav bhakti to prem. Hmm? <clears throat> I'm leaving out a lot of details here because last verse I'm going to give you and we'll, we're going to jump into kiskindaka. Now one more question. <clears throat> what is the value of this bhakti? Who knows? Everybody saying take sadhu sang from sadhu sang you're gonna get bhakti. Shraddha ratir bhakti in that sequence. Hmm? The doorway of, of moksha, liberation is far open. But so what is the use of all these things? What is the use of bhakti? of water. <clears throat> In that verse 33, the answer is there. Bhagavan Kapil has given his mother. <coughs> Jarayati Ashuya Kosham Nigirnam Manalo Yatha Just like the fire in the stomach, digesting the food, breaking it up. So to bhakti will melt, dissolve the subtle body. And as long as the subtle body is finished, then the soul is actually in direct contact. There's nothing to stop you. But in North America, they teach you opposite. Hmm? No matter child, mother, father, everyone, you say in North America, North America that everyone is entitled to their own opinion. So if you would like to keep your opinion, it means you want to keep your mind. And you will tell somebody trying to teach you the sadhu sang and bhakti said, do you mind? I would like to keep my mind. And by keeping your mind, it means you know the mothers, you, I'm sure you hear this, oh God man, you make this child, but you make the mind, no? Because the mind comes from the last birth, and the mother from the body, she give nourishment, and they get this, this, the cross body from the mother. But the, man, the mind, intellect, and the false ego, which constitute the subtle body, the soul is trapped in that, comes into that little body, and it develops. And that is how the child comes with his own bad habits and mind from the past life. And you wonder, my God, who is this? Where this child come from? I could have never imagined my child would have turned out. You laughing? So this is how we all came here, with our own material desires. This is why Krishna said, Man mana bhava. Huh? When Bhakti starts in Bhagavad Gita, Maya Sapta Manahapar, give me a mind. Absorb your mind in me. So it will melt out. But you want to keep your mind. And Man Mana Bhav Mad Bhato. Chapter 18, verse 65. The essence of whole Bhakti. Madhyaji Ma Namaskuru. Ma Mevaheshyasi Satyam Te. I promise you, you will come to me. Absorb your mind. Absorb your mind in these things. You will see. One last verse in Bhagavad Gita before we go. It's a very important verse. Chapter 18, verse 58. I love this verse so much. Because I be hear it while growing up. And the kids probably still hear it. You better listen. You hear me, child. Otherwise, if you don't hear, you will feel. And you say like that? You know where this is coming from? The Supreme Father made that statement. Same statement. This is where the people get it from. All this holding you by ears and ringing it is coming. Guru Karnadharam. This is Sanskrit in Bhagavad. Ah, 
Guru is really the captain, but Karna means heirs too, and you could hold your heirs. Hey, not so. This is why you can't read on your own. You need Guru. Because when you're reading and you're misunderstanding, the book don't jump up and say you're misunderstanding me. You could go on and have all misconception and think you're a big scholar. But Guru will say, hey, not so. This way. It means like this. And then you know. So chapter 18, verse 58. So by 8 o'clock, I should start today's katha. Huh? Machitta Sarva Durgani. Absorb your mind in me. Your chitta, your conscious, become conscious of me. And Sarva Durgani, you know the word Durga, what it means? Durga. Dur means difficult, Ga means to go. So Durgani means all obstacles. Machitta Sarva Durgani, Mak Prasada, by my mercy, my blessing. Tarishyasi, you will overcome. Hmm? That one nice verse came, you will allow me, right? As I say this, there yeah, another verse came in mind. Let me finish this, one thing at a time. Machitta Sarva Durgani, Matra Sadar, Tarishyasi, Atha Chetvam Ahankara, but if you have this Ahankara, you don't, if you don't absorb your mind in me, you don't absorb your chit, consciousness in me, to get out from this, then you have a hankar. I could do it myself. I don't need you. You know, when the children grow up, we in Trinidad, we say, become manish. I don't know, you have that in Gaia? Yeah. Moral father said, boy, come, we have to come go to school. No. Do like that? Twist and turn, you become manish. This is what Krishna is speaking. If you don't act a chet from ahankara, you think you could get out by yourself, you could manage, you could fend for yourself. Not sure, see, if you don't hear me, being anxious, you will become lost. And we are all lost souls. Think about it. We don't even know what holds for us tomorrow. Our vision in the future is blocked. Only when we start doing it, Bhagwan will give you. Those who are actually following and chanting, they can know things ahead. Bhagwan will give that. <coughs> you will get that darshan. You will get that. All obstacles will be clear. One of us, before we start tonight's katha. Because it reminds me of chapter 7, verse number 14. What is that verse? Daivi hiesha gunumai. This guna, satugun, rajagun, tamugun. We are like puppets in the hands of Maya. These three strings pulling us this way, that way, and they're all competing. One minute we good, good. Next minute we bad, bad. One minute you feel in this mood, and yes, we'll go to temple. Next minute, man, we have a party to go, let them go to this temple, yes. Whole time they started bringing this hurry bold guy standing in the <laughs> Me going. Daivi huh? Hesha, it is divine energy, but endowed with the gunas. Material gunas. Guna mean like a rope. Daivi Hesha Gunamai, Krishna said, Mama Maya Duratya. It's my Maya, and you cannot get out. Very difficult. But there's always a way. Huh? How to say it? As long as you have the will, there is a... Oh. You cannot get out, but If those who surrender to me, Maya Mitam they will get past Maya. Haribo!
Yeah. 
और मंगल रूप है एंड दिस इज वेरी ऑस्पिशियस टेकिंग लर्निंग अथवा विद्यार्थी रूप धर मीन्स इज अ स्टूडेंट क्योंकि उनका स्वभाव चंचल होता एंड देन स्टूडेंट इज नॉर्मली चंचल नॉट स्टेबल यंग बॉयज गर्ल्स स्टडी नॉट स्टेबल एंड बिना प्रयोजन दे डोंट नो यू आस एम वॉट यू लाइक टू बी वेन यू ग्रो दे डोंट हैव एनी एम इन लाइफ एंड प्रश्न करना उनको उचित है एंड इट इज अप्रोपियट फॉर एम टू बी इंक्विजिटिव टू आस सो मैनी क्वेश्चन so they sending hanuman to this one so he could question them and find out where about you understand it how why the reason so they could tell jaisa britan the whole so and then you will give me the message so mujhe banari sain se jata dena jisse ve na ja and give me the sign in in our banner monkey language so they cannot understand what you telling me from a distance you will give me the sign you understand this static this is what static ramayan so beautiful but what struck me first time i read this gayana and trinidad very very unfortunate in one sense those who went to a certain parts of in africa tomorrow you the last time we had one prabhu here tela dhansuk bhai he is from kenya and they from india they went as indentured laborers just like our four parents but they sent qualified teachers to teach in their schools in the curricula it's part hindi was one part in their schools we didn't have that i don't think you had that in guyana so we had to go around and look for anybody who will teach us and we learn a a e e u u and learn something in hindi huh? every time i say this i don't know if i ever said this here but i was going to this little boy very young maybe he didn't wasn't 5 years old yet going to elementary school and the teacher <clears throat> used to come once a month once when she feels like it and they were teaching somebody was filling in and teaching sare ga and i find it was boring i just like to play music and enjoy not this all this theory business so i told my father pa we're not i'm not learning anything we're going there and the teacher hardly even come and there's nothing i'm not learning you know what was his reply the son <coughs> no matter whatever little you learn still And every time I open this Ramayana book, I read. Today, many people are saying, "Oh my God!" They hear on radio, they hear this through internet. What? I'm no scholar, but little by little, if you think. And this is why in New York we're going to have somebody starting to teach the kids. And anybody want to learn, I want you to search for somebody who knows Hindi, and please have this board or something for the kids to learn. I will try. You can try to investigate. to get some beginners books from the alphabet going up please hmm? is very important when you read this the british took that uh, away from us mahatma gandhi became so famous in the world you know what his real intention was not to follow although he became a lawyer not to follow this british system of education stick to the ramayana and bhagavata and our script and our language it was taken away from us <clears throat> try to think about these things what treasure we have and we are missing out by not knowing the language and don't go to the language to become a scholar because a lot of the scholars they also say i'm god not like that learn enough so that you could actually understand the greatness of ramayan bhagavad gita bhagavat this is important <clears throat> pathe bali hoy man maila and if when you give me the sign and they were dispatched by bali who is mal again very bad that my brother bali whose mind is so dirty man maila if they were sent by him then bhagao you know bhag jao you know bhagao turat tajao yaham shaila this mountain we have to get out immediately 
Because Bali is sending them, once they find us, they will come and kill us all. Bipra Rupa Dhari Kapitaha Gayu. Then, Sri Hanumanji took the form of a student, like he was told by Sri and he went and he bowed his head, Math Nai As Uchata Bhayu. And he began to question them. Uchna. Uchna means to question. Ucho mere dil se hai Mukesh. Very beautiful song. Ucho mere dil se Ko tum shyam lagar sharira Kshatriya rupa bhera ho bana bhera Manifestation, 
Lina Manoja avatar and you have taken avatar in human form. So I'm going to go very quickly and next Doha will stop. It's okay? Fine or not? Nobody saying it yes or no? On or not? We have one fine. Huh? We have one eight one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So the Lord of Koshal Puri means Ayodhya, who is Dasharat. He is the Lord in Ayodhya. Dasharat ke jai. Because of Maharaj Dasharat, Ham Pitu Bachana Mani Ban Ai. We came to the forest by respecting the vows, the words, promise he made. We had to come to the forest. Hmm? <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, 
When we don't know who is God and we've not firmly fixed it because what is the reason? Maya. We're under the grips of Maya. Last two. Control of your Maya, Moh Vash. Secondly, Dusre Kish Hone Se Agyani Hu. And I'm in a form of monkey, so what do you expect? I'm ignorant. The Hanuman is saying like that. Puni Prabhu Mohi Pisare Hu. Dina Bandhu Bhagavan. Aur Dina Bandhu Rameshwar Hokar Mujhe Pisar Deya. Mera Bada Bhagya. He is actually repenting in this way. I am so unfortunate that the Lord has forsaken me, has forgotten me. Lord never forgets anyone, but Sri Hanumanji is saying, because I have forgotten Lord, you too forgotten me. So this lesson we must know, we have to come to a true form. Approach the Lord. Can you allow me one verse? Yeah. One verse. But this just came to mind. As we have bhakti tattva also. Now one I'll close the book if you think of that. <laughs> In the Narad Pancharatra, beautiful verse is given about what the description of bhakti, how Bhagavan, how to serve him in our true form, then it is real bhakti and purified senses. Sarvapadhi binir muktam, all padhis. Bodily designation, I am a woman, I am a man, I am from Guyana, I am from Trinidad, I am American, Canadian, this and that. All this is bodily designation. Give it up. Sarvapadi, I have a PhD. Soon I will be MAD. Hmm? <laughs> Sarvapadi, Binir Mukta. Give it up. Tat Paratvena Nirmalam. In this connection, become Nirmal. Last time I explained that word. Become Hirshi kena hirshi kesha sevanam. And with purified senses, in that kind of mentality, not I am Guyanese and I am a boy, I am a girl, a man, woman. No. In your pure self, in your real self, you know, try to search for that. You know, you're doing things, but when you look at the mirror, why that? So I look now, like I see one or two gray hairs starting to come now, to I see the body changing, no? So if that, Kind of consciousness. Rishike, Rishike, Sevan, and do that Seva in that consciousness. Bhaktir Uchyati. That is explained or that is described to be Bhakti. Bole Raja Ramachandra ki. Thai Gaur Premanan. So I gave you enough time. Now was 8.39. So we can have. I have one visitor from Trinidad. We could hear one song from him. <coughs> one bhaya. And then we will have Ramayana right away. Savari so bela sa gunwa Aj gari rama e huram 